Yeah, because another reason why missing the goal on inertial hurts so bad in the speedrun is because it the the goal while it's spinning picks up speed so you pretty much can't get in the goal until the cycle resets um which is like a 10 to 15 second time loss so like that's why whenever i miss that goal i just I just reset. That serpentine wasn't good. I wasn't able to hug the second curve at all because I went way too sh or way too deep on the um first one Uh, I checked out the update a little bit, Evan, uh, this morning. I don't think I'm going to play it too much. I will play a little bit here and there, but I'm not going to play it a ton. That a I don't understand these splits sometimes. Alright, Run's not dying to Dynamo. You'll love to see it. It means as long as I don't play like an absolute idiot, then I should get back to, at the very least, Inertial. That was a really smooth lunchbox. <sighs> now gutter. This is a stage where I don't really care if I red split or not. I just like, I want to get through it. Cause this, this is a stage that can really punish recklessness. This time around, I might be ahead after Jolt Channel, depending on how Jolt Channel goes. But then the real danger is inertial octagonal sewer arc bridges. And also, like, I know I'm going to red split on stream. Because last time, my last run, the time I got on stream was just absurd. Like, it was... Just like the perfect, like bounce into the goal. I um, I almost missed messed or ugh, I almost messed that up. Tagle. All right. Now, I get a shot at redemption. Ready? Go. Nice. Alright. As long as I don't super troll arc bridges, I'm gonna make it to the water world this time.
Nice. Uh, oh, that's right. Last time I party balled on Arc Bridges and lost some time getting back into the goal. <sighs> Alright. Now, as long as I get... The irony of it all, now I'm like, if I can get to Catwalk, I'm pretty much through the water set of levels. But, like, Teeter and Stream... Teeter, Teeter's just straight up a hard stage. Stream has a mind of its own and will troll me if it wants to. So, here we go. Teeter. Don't know why this stage was in <laughs> Deluxe Beginner. Because it's a mini gauntlet on seesaws. That's another stage that I don't really care if I red split on. Because, like, I, j I just need to get through it, pretty much. Okay. That was an interesting stream. Now... I don't understand how that, how that, uh, strat happened. Like, how that strat made it into the game. So, pretty much, if, on Catwalk, if immediately when the, when the stage starts, if you hold down W, D, and the down arrow, key on the keyboard, then, um, it, you turn Catwalk from one of the hardest stages in the run to a hold up, pretty much. Alright, here we go. Coil ramp. First absolute killer of the last run. Ooh, I hit that bumper. Fortunately, Banana Mania bumpers are kind of small. <sighs> We're actually halfway through. But the run is far from over. Because I still gotta get through... This set of stages, okay, literally, after Paraboloid, we're pretty much home free except for Fractal. Like, just straight up, after Paraboloid, Fractal's the only hard stage that remains. Oh my god, I almost died on that transition. That would have been tragic. <sighs> also, Fat Seesaw. Fat Seesaw and Treads are scary to me right now. Because I've recently lost runs to these two. Got it. Let's go. Alright, here we go, Treads. Alright, um... Huh. <laughs> We're too advanced. <sighs> Here we go. 
Houndstooth. The stage that took world record away from me last time. I'm not failing again. <laughs> I'm not- if I'm gonna lose world record, it's not going to be to Houndstooth. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that again. I'm also not ready to go for DNA green, I don't think. <sighs> DNA green is too scary, especially when I'm on really good pace. Like, it only saves like four ish seconds. Mm, I should have given myself more of a run up for that ramp. Didn't really make actually that big of a difference time wise. Scrolls is one of my favorite stages from Deluxe. From, like, that's a Monkey Ball, at least formerly Monkey Ball Deluxe exclusive stage. Love it so much. I died on Cliff last time. Let's not do that again. Oh my god, I actually did. Let's go. Uh, I feel like that puts more pressure on me now. I'm putting pr too much pressure on myself again. Somebody help me. Oh my god, you're not serious. That still was a green split. What happened last time on Concentric? I need to know. I need my question answered now. Oh my god, I just... Well, I Giga Trolled uh, Stadium. So that's sort of offset not Giga Trolling Concentric. Just mini trolling concentric. Also, I don't care that much if I read Split Dungeon because I'm so far ahead at this point that it literally comes down to Paraboloid. Wow. Hit a wall. Damn. Busy900, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Also, I'm sorry to chat right now, I can't really read it because even with missing Paraboloid, I'm actually still on world record pace, so I've got to, like, really play out of my mind right now. Remember the chaos route. 
shoot, that's bad. Are you serious? I was about- oh, man. I was going to green split that. Shoot. I need to, like, gun it on Fractal and actually not die. That is horrifying. My heart is racing right now. I'm so nervous. Dodge maze, shelter, Mobius. Did I just lose time on menuing? I'm so sorry for not talking much. This is... This is going to come down to these final three stages, if I'm gonna world record or not. That is deluxe mode, world record, by five seconds, without escaping Paraboloid. I... Uh... This is, this might be the biggest achievement I've had in speedrunning as a whole <laughs> so far. Um, like, I've gotten world records before, but... I've lost them, and I've not been able to get them back, and I had the world record in this category, and then Helix absolutely destroyed that run, and got a 1655, and honestly, I felt pretty discouraged, because I just... <sighs> At that point, I mean, I had a deathless run that literally loss by a minute and a half. I mean, how could that not be discouraging, you know? But being able to actually go the distance for the first time and actually 
get the record back is like I'm literally shaking right now like I I Gold splitting by two and a half seconds on Fractal, putting me back in a spot where I can, where, like, I can make it. That run was so intense from start to finish. Oh my god. Thank you to everyone in chat for, for the supportive words and for, for being here. For being here supporting me while I take on this absolute monster of a run. It really means a lot. Now it's party time. Yeah, I think I think now it is party time. Um